Intentionality includes this broad intention or direction to come into the experience of yourself, to have a whole sense of yourself. And an important part of mindfulness <coughs> is just becoming increasingly sensitive to what's here. So once you actually have that intention, once you actually turn towards the sense of yourself in any situation, you start to notice more. So first of all, there are the obvious things. You might notice obvious things about your body. You might be tight and tense or held in a certain way, or you might feel very floppy and lethargic, just as an example. So you notice those obvious things. Within the body, you might then start to notice more subtle things, a sort of opening or a tightness or a contractedness in your chest, uh, a, a sort of buzziness in your head or a general sense of openness and relaxation in your face. You're going from the obvious to the more subtle. So this aspect of sensitivity to what's here becomes an intention and a direction. So part of sensitivity to what's here, based on very often how you feel your body, beco becomes an awareness of your general mood. And this, in a way, is by its very nature quite subtle, quite amorphous, quite difficult to pinpoint. It, it's it runs through us, so it's not a thing like an awareness of the face. But somehow or another, by coming more into the body and becoming more sensitive to the body, you become more aware and come into the experience more directly of your general mood. And this sense of the general mood is, becomes part of your mindfulness that at any given time as being in a whole sense of yourself, a whole sense of your experience, it includes your body and your general mood as well as your thinking. So, as I mentioned in a previous video, asking the question, what's missing, is very important. Like, you can ask yourself, do I actually have a sense of my mood? What is my mood? And uh, if you're not very clear about what your mood is, then that becomes an intention, a general intention over time to become more sensitive to it. And within the practice of mindfulness, very generally, the, the way into that is getting a sense of your body getting a sense of the, the posture and the stance of your body gives you clues. You start to read your body as a way of entering into an awareness and experience of your general mood. So, to be, being a bit literal, if you feel physically deflated and slumped, then that might possibly uh, be an indication of your mood. You know, if you're you're very upright and up for it, that might give you an indication of your mood. I'm not saying that it always does, but that it could. And that this kind of direction into reading your body and the sense and, and stance and posture of your body uh, as a way of becoming aware of your mood is very useful. So by being aware of your body, it points you in the direction of your general mood. And in this way, you start to get to recognize patterns of moods. You say, oh, well, I recognize that pattern. When, when things are going well, you know, I get very uh, excited and enthusiastic or I get complacent, which is the other side of it. You say, oh, things are going well, I can just lay back. Or on the other hand, you might, when things are going very difficult, you might get very determined and 
you really persevere in dealing with what you have to deal with or you might just have a sense of uh, giving up and those are, are general moods uh, and you start to get to notice patterns you start to become familiar with what is here and how you experience yourself in certain situations and that's part of mindfulness you're having a, a sense of your mood and your body and your mind all together.